Hi all, uh, this is a quick update on one of the latest vulnerabilities in the Apache Struts framework. In this year we have uh, already seen uh, two of the major remote code executions vulnerabilities from Struts framework. Uh, now we, we are here in uh, September with another one remote code execution vulnerability. Let me walk you through the uh, vulnerability, uh, how it happened. So the vulnerability occurs when data is uh, deserialized in an unsafe way. Application is using a library called Xtreme, which main purpose is a uh, serialization of the Java objects into an XML. When a user with a weaponized XML payload gives a request to the server, it executes the unsanitized user input, which uh, pretty much results in this form of remote code execution. So let me give you a quick demo on how it happens. Uh, in both Windows and uh, Linux servers. Here I'm running my uh, Tomcat server with uh, Struts uh, showcase application, and uh, this is not just a normal application uh, for showcasing how the REST uh, plugin works. It's, it forms a REST-based URL rather than the, the normal URLs. So I will just use an uh, proxy like burp. And uh, so here we have the request. I'll send it to the repeater. And uh, here if you see the method is post and uh, the main thing is the content type is uh, xml here if you see this is the main part which uh, makes the vulnerability so let's see let's say i'm executing uh, i want to uh, you can execute any command in the server so this gedit have been opened by uh, apache stretch framework because of this vulnerability Here uh, I'm in my uh, Windows machine. I will show you the things which testers may need to do when the environment is Windows environment. Pretty much any directory traversal execution or something, any functions you believe is inside the Windows server. So in this case, I will just show you test edit. So the attacker may here let's see it just opened. So they may install some persistent keys inside, something like that. They need to check their uh, uh, registered and uh, all the malwares which could possibly be registered inside and uh, backdoors which could have been registered. So they need to test for this kind of uh, things as well. And the mitigation for this uh, vulnerability is pretty much updating to the they have released stats have released a version of 2.3.34 and uh, 2.5.13 who is hosting and who is having the rest plugin more major focus is on the rest plugin so who are having that uh, they need to as soon as possible uh, move to these versions other thing they could do is uh, remove the support for the rest plugin the library extreme library uh, disable the xml support as well which could uh, also help so that's all from me.